Okay, so this video is going to discuss uh, fissure projections and different stereo isomers. Um, and so what you're going to learn in, in this video is a proper uh, depiction of a, of a fissure projection, how to determine the configuration of a fissure projection, uh, and we're going to look at some dive stereomers that are also um, fissure projections, and we're going to look at the uh, fissure projection of glucose and figure out how to determine the configuration, the R or S configuration for that. Alright, so basically a fissure projection, you can see here, we, we know that carbon is a tetrahedral, and, or a tetrahedron, and so the fissure projection is basically looking at the carbon from the top, right? It's like if you were holding it, holding this molecule in your hand, it would be like looking at uh, the, looking at carbon from the top, all right? So in a fissure projection, it's important to understand that the horizontal lines here and here are wedged, and then the vertical lines are dashed. That means that the vertical lines are going back into the page, and the horizontal lines are coming out of the page. And so in order to, to assign configuration to a fissure projection, it's very simple, all right? If the hydrogen is vertical, right meaning up or down it doesn't matter if it's vertical you go through your normal procedure for assigning configuration first you assign priority and then you determine whether or not the groups are oriented clockwise or counterclockwise and you should remember that assigning priority is based on atomic mass all right so here's the priority bromine is one the, this carbon is two and this ch3 here is three why are these two carbons different well, they're the same atom. They have the same atomic mass, so we have to go to the next atom. In this case, it will be oxygen. In this case, it will be hydrogen, so this is priority two. So when we look at this, all right, and we, we count here, one, two, three, we see that that is actually counterclockwise, right? So the configuration here is S. So if the hydrogen is vertical, you simply uh, assign priority, and if the groups are oriented, in a clockwise fashion, then it's R. If it's counterclockwise, then it's S. All right, so let's look at another example. Here, the, the hydrogen is no longer vertical, it's horizontal. Remember, if it's horizontal, that means it's on a wedge, all right? Just like these two are on a dash or a dash line, sure, yeah. Okay, so if it's horizontal, here's a, there's a little trick that you have to remember, all right? You assign priority, right? And let's look now, the priority here is one, two, three, that is actually clockwise, right? That's clockwise. However, if the hydrogen is on a wedge, meaning if the, or if the hydrogen is on a horizontal line like this, that means it's on a wedge. And so if the configuration with hydrogen being on a horizontal line, if the configuration is clockwise, you simply reverse it. So normally this would be R because these things are oriented clockwise. So if that's the case, if hydrogen is on a horizontal line, then the configuration is the opposite of what you see. So this is one, two, three. Normally that would be R, but because hydrogen is on a horizontal line, then the configuration is actually S. All right. Only you only do this for fissure projections. All right. This does not apply to um, other depictions of chiral centers but only for a fissure projection and only if hydrogen is on a horizontal line. Alright so here's some other fissure projections and I want to actually look at these in 3D. So here's a depiction of isomer A. Uh, I'm just cutting it around a little bit so you can let me straighten it a little that's iodine, carbon, and hydrogen. And on the bottom carbon, you can see carbon and then hydrogen. Let's get a better view of it here. Let's turn it a little bit more. Okay, so that's A. So in order to determine the configuration, the stereo centers at A, we have to turn it so that the hydrogens are facing back, 
all right and we have to think about each stereo center separately so this is group one here this is group two and this is group three one two three this is isomer B notice the hydrogens are on opposite sides iodine is pointed back here's nitrogen let's turn it around and get a better look at it so we've seen what the 3d version of these um, Fisher projections with two stereo centers looks like so let's look at a all right here's iodine here's CH3 H is in the back of course we saw that in 3d already and then here's on the second stereo center here's nitrogen here's CH3 and then here's uh, carbon so let's look at let's assign uh, prior, uh, assign priority to these right iodine obviously is going to be number one and then number two it's either going to be between this carbon and this carbon. Obviously, it's this carbon because this is CH. This is CNH2. So this is 2. That's 3, right? So here, this is 1, 2, 3. H is now oriented in the back. And so now this becomes 1, 2, 3. This is counter. No, this is clockwise. I'm sorry. So that makes this stereo center R. Now let's look at the bottom stereo center right here this is the stereo center this is nitrogen this is carbon and that's carbon obviously this carbon is high priority because this is CH this is C iodine so this is one two three that is also clockwise and so this stereo center is now R now let's look at B all right we saw B in 3d and here's here's the uh, 3d depiction of B this hydrogen is pointed back for the top carbon and then for the bottom carbon the hydrogen is pointed back here so the question is for you can you determine the configuration of the top and the bottom and can you tell me the relationship between those two stereoisomers are they anatomers or are they diastereomers Okay, so now let's look at glucose. Glucose is just one big Fisher projection. When you see it drawn this way, you'll see it on standardized tests this way a lot. And so let's look at the carbon here at this chiral center and let's determine the configuration at this chiral center. One thing you need to remember again, this is a Fisher projection. So these two groups are on wedges and then these two groups are on dashes. All right, so here's the question do you remember what I said earlier when hydrogen is horizontal or the lowest priority group is horizontal then the configuration at whatever configuration you see then the actual configuration is the opposite of that so let's look at it so here are my groups this is group 1 OH group 2 is the aldehyde here group 3 is this carbon that's that's attached to all of these carbons down here so really group 3 is this whole group all right and so the reason two, this group two is higher priority than this one this is C with two bonds to oxygen this is C with one bond to oxygen all right and so when we look at this this is one this is two this is three that is counterclockwise so it should be S but because hydrogen here is on a horizontal line it's actually R all right so you remember for these Fisher projections R equals S and S equals R if hydrogen is on a horizontal line all right so now it's your turn this is your second pop quiz in this video give the configurations of each of these stereo centers in C and D so this one and this one and then this one and this one all right you know how to contact me you can tweet you can email you can stop by my office all right peace